We establish conversation with people of a lot of parts of the world, so it's so amazing. It's really fantastic how there's people from literally everywhere, you know, it's a very international thing. Knowing people from anywhere, like any place in the world, it's always like fun, it's always fine to learn new cultures, learn new customs, new things. Meeting new people, networking, that's the best thing, right? It's useful for the future. The best part is seeing the delegates learning and engaging with each other and learning how to work together, how to talk about these policy issues, um, and seeing them grow throughout the conference. It's been really nice to see um, the delegates come out of their shells and uh, kind of become progressively more confident, more self-assured as the conference has gone on. Participating in a, an Oxford MUN or any MUN brings together um, current issues that the, the students eventually start making the links between the sciences and between um, you know, politics, uh, disarmament, uh, because they are all linked. We get to discuss politics that are normally far beyond the normal sphere of high school politics involvement and so that is a once in a year experience I really value. It's hands-on, as real life experience as you can get without obviously working directly for the UN. It's very, very professionally done. Delegates themselves are a real credit because they take it very seriously and very, very well prepared. It's good to get like, such a diverse range of ideas and viewpoints because everyone's very smart and has got different ideas on a topic. That's one of the biggest challenges that anybody who comes to Model UN faces, sort of getting inside the mind of a country which you may never have visited, you may never even have heard about for some of the countries. We've got 30 students in 12 different committees here all over the place and whenever I've been in they've been smiling and involved, they're meeting students from all around the world, um, they're building their resilience and their independence. And so it's really rewarding to be able to kind of set the agenda and then to move towards sort of seeing that sort of actualized into uh, real draft resolutions by the end of it. Throughout the sessions they're going to get more passionate about what they're working towards and they'll start forming blocks and teams and seeing how they interact and how that plays out will be really exciting. I think it's always nice to have a tangible output at the end of something that you've been devoting a lot of time to. We have so many people who've never done this before and find something they love for life. Training materials and background information you're given is very, very strong in terms of trying to get you up to speed. Uh, and I definitely think that it's accessible in that way. All of our chairs are really well planned and kind of trained to deal with that sort of thing. So we don't want the MUN experience to be scary for anyone. Just just give it a go. Step out of your comfort zone and definitely you will gain a lot of public speaking skills and also like how do you be a diplomatic person and engage in um, productive negotiation. So definitely join us for next year. It's discussing and resolving and in the world we live in we need more of that and we need less confrontation and argument. Thank you.